Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Thank you so very much for being here. I've had a fantastic day. I get to talk to fabulous people. And my next guest is Tiffany Sizemore. She's a medical doctor and she's here to talk about your heart. Yeah, this is Heart Health Month. And she's going to talk about the unique, most unique Heart Health Month in history. Dr. Sizemore, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Hey, Valder. What do I mean when I'm saying the most unique uh, heart health in history, heart health month in history? What's unique about it? Well, we're dealing with heart health and heart disease still being the number one killer of Americans at the same time dealing with the worldwide pandemic. So it's been lots of fun <laughs> as a doctor. Um, and, you know, what I want to stress to everyone listening to all of your listeners is that if you feel like you need medical attention, if you're having issues, if you're having chest pain, shortness of breath, whatever it is, and you feel like something's wrong in your body, do not not go to the hospital because you're scared of COVID-19. Your body's trying to tell you something. You still need to get medical care. We're seeing a lot of patients presenting very late in a disease process that could have been picked up a lot earlier had they gone to the hospital. It's become very um, difficult and frustrating as physicians to try and combat not only the, the, the COVID-19 plague, but also combat the thought process behind patients and why they're not going to the hospital. I want my audience to know that Dr. Sizemore knows what she's talking about. She is a quadruple board certified cardiologist and a concierge care physician in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Dr. Sizemore says heart attacks affect more people uh, every year. Tell me about the population of Dallas, which I, you know, I originate from. I talk to people all over the nation, but I originate from Dallas. Um, well, you know, I'd say Dallas as a whole is pretty much the same statistic as the country as a whole. Um, there's, there is a higher uh, elevation of diabetes in, in Texas in general, um, and diabetes is definitely a risk factor for heart disease. But at the end of the day, it really boils down to everyone really just taking care of themselves and being proactive with their health, not waiting on something to happen, but being proactive. And that's what we're seeing with COVID patients, too. These people that are severely affected with COVID are were, were typically more unhealthy baseline. So now we really have a push as cardiologists, as physicians, to have patients be more proactive with their health, know what their cholesterol is, know their numbers, and, and, and talk to their doctors and ask questions appropriately. Okay, but I've got a survey that says 83% of people believe that heart attacks can be prevented but are not motivated to do anything. What does that mean? 83% of heart attacks can be prevented because patients aren't taking care of themselves. I always tell my patients, you have to be participatory in your own health, right? You have to participate. You have to know what's going on. You need to eat right. You need to exercise. You need to take the appropriate supplements. So for instance, omega-3s, a great supplement to help support heart health. I recommend omega-3s as a preventive uh, supplement to all of my patients. In particular, I like Cori Krill Oil. It's a superior omega-3, has excellent absorption. It's certified, sustainably sourced. And most importantly for patients that's taken omega-3s in the past, it has no fishy aftertaste, which is very important to people. You don't want to burp and have a fishy aftertaste, and you do not get that with Cori Krill Oil. Has a lot of benefits for overall heart health, has been clinically proven to raise those omega-3 levels. Definitely something that all of your listeners in Dallas should be taking. Okay. What about this? 72% of Americans don't consider themselves at risk for heart disease. Is that a myth or what? Uh, that's not a myth. That's actually very true. People are much more concerned about cancer than they are heart disease. Rightfully so. I get it. Again, I, I do internal medicine also. But I, if, for instance, I tell my, my female patients, I, I get it. I got boobies too. I understand and I think they're important, but you need to be alive to enjoy them, right? And unfortunately, heart disease <laughs> is going to be your number one killer statistically. More so than all cancers combined, heart disease kills people. So we need to, again, folk, let's, let's, you know, if we circle back, we talk about diet, being proactive. We talk about starting your day off on the, off on the right foot getting whole bran oats, getting low cholesterol in, high fiber diet to help keep your belly full. Kellogg's Raisin Bran, for instance, great data way to start your day. They have a new product called Kellogg's Raisin Bran Toasted Oats and Honey, whole grain oats in each spoonful, features heart healthy Kellogg's ingredients you know and love, hearty bran flakes and juicy raisins, now paired with crisp toasted oats, a touch of real honey for a little sweetness. Like myself, I have to have a little sweetness in every single one of my meals. Lots of fiber helps digestive health also, which we know is also very important. Again, you gotta, you gotta kind of focus and start your day off on the right foot.
And before I let you go, you want to tell my audience something about Stella Rosa? I do. So polyphenols are actually very important for heart health. Polyphenols actually help to lower blood pressure, lower inflammation. I get to celebrate every day regardless because Stella Rosa Naturals are actually non-alcoholic, semi-sweet, semi-sparkling Italian wine. They're also gluten-free and vegan, and they have the same polyphenols in regular wine to help decrease inflammation and decrease blood pressure. And with that also, I also want to tell your, your listeners also, it's important to try and at least put in one vegan, one plant-based meal a day if possible, if you can't be completely vegan. I love Save-A-Lot. Save-A-Lot's an ultimate one-stop shop for all of your heart-healthy grocery needs, offering quality ingredients and value to its customers. And if your listeners want to go to Save-A-Lot.com, they have heart-healthy heart month recipes and weekly deals right on their website. Here in our studio, we have two wonderful uh, recipes that we kind of cooked up beforehand. We've tried them all. They're absolutely delicious. Where can they get those recipes online as I wrap up? Yep, savealot.com has the recipes from them. And then for all of the products that we spoke about and all the heart health tips we spoke about, you can go to tipsontv.com. Dr. Tiffany Sizemore, you have been a wealth of information on the Valder BB Show. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Valder. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Valder Hi, BB. I'm Valder I host BB. the Valder I BB, host the show, Valder broadcast BB show broadcast on radio broadcast and television. Radio and and this is my this phone is pouch. My phone, my pouch. phone pouch is a my great invention. A great it invention. allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.